Today I'm gonna to share with you what's in my son's toddler Easter basket, the very hungry caterpillar inspired. Hi guys, thanks for stopping in. My name is Laura. Today I'm gonna to share what's in my toddler's Easter basket. I am mama to one little boy and he is gonna be almost 22 months on Easter. So this is his second Easter. And I love to do themed Easter baskets. I don't know what it is, but for right now, I'm kind of in this themed Easter basket season of my life. Uh, we'll see what happens next year. But anyhow, his first Easter basket was Peter Rabbit inspired and I'll link that video for you down below. Um, and then this year is going to be from our fan favorite around here, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. I kind of themed the basket loosely off of that book. So uh, I try to be minimal and thrifty as far as my Easter baskets. I am in no way, shape, or form a minimalist in any other way. Um, but I like to just not give him tons and tons of stuff that's not all gonna get played with and it's gonna get wasted. And I wanna be wise with my finances. And so I hope that that will encourage you today. I just love videos like these. I think it's because my love language, if you're familiar with that, one of my top ones is gifts. And so I love to bless my child in this way. But I find myself watching these videos like this and thinking I need to get my child more and more. You know, even when I was watching some this year, I just then thought about the basket that I had made for my son and I wondered, did I get enough? Maybe I need to go back to the store and get him something else. But it's totally unnecessary, unnecessary. <laughs> and you can stay on a good budget and still bless your children um, and not break the bank. I'm a Christian mom as well, and so for my family, the Easter basket and all this other stuff is just extra fun, but the real holiday is all about Jesus and his death and resurrection for us and uh, just how thankful we are that he is our savior. So I'm gonna start with the basket itself, which is really beautiful. And I actually got it um, at my baby shower, you know, years ago now, well, just a year or two ago. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure where it came from. Originally, there's not a tag on it, but somebody had given me a gift in it and it's really massive i don't think the camera does it justice i know like i'm trying to be thrifty and minimal but i have a ginormous basket but it totally can it can happen and it can work <laughs> I created this little tag with my son's name stamped on it and just tied it on with some ribbon i actually found this this is kind of crazy, but this is totally how I am. I found it in the free box at a used bookstore years ago. Uh, it was actually a copy of the Eric Carl book that this came from, maybe Shapes or something. And I saved the pages that were like nice. Some of the book was kind of torn up. And I just saved them in a box full of papers and stuff that I, <laughs> that I have because I'm definitely not a minimalist. <laughs> and. I found it and I was like, this will be the perfect tag. I thought it was all spring-like with the kite and everything. And so I just used some little alphabet stamps to put that on there. But I do like to create a little tag and I try to always make it free. Last year, I made it out of like a little uh, paint sample <laughs> paper that you can get at, you know, like hardware stores. So anyhow, there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some things from the basket now. So the first one is this fun little, oops, Easter grass, fun little pillow that is of course the caterpillar himself it's got this fun fun little yarny fur i can't talk <laughs> take two fun little yarn like hair around the edges and it can work like a little neck pillow for your toddler in the car or traveling or whatever and it can also just be a fun little plush so i got that at a local consignment sale store kids place um and I paid $2 for it, and it looks like it's brand new. So that was a really good deal. And then another thrifty find, I found this book here. Oops, again, Easter grass everywhere. <laughs> I actually reuse my Easter uh, grass each year, 
Um, just a, another little tidbit to stay kind of thrifty. Anyhow, this is the Very Hungry Caterpillars Easter Colors, and I thrifted this at Goodwill for 99 cents, and actually it might have been half off of that. But anyways, it was a dollar or less. Um, and it's just a fun little book with colors and really cute Eric Carl illustrations. So there's that. I think I got this and it kind of helped pave the way for my ideas to kind of spiral as to like the theme of the basket was going to be Eric Carl because I found this little Easter color book from him. Anyhow, I feel like I'm totally blabbering and rambling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That seems to be how I do. Either that or I take a thousand takes and then none of them kind of fit together. I'm new at this. Did I mention that? So anyhow, this is from, I think, Ollie's, but I've also seen them at the Dollar Tree before. And I think at Ollie's it was only like 89 cents, but it's an Eric Carl coloring book. This one focuses on the alphabet and has just some fun little things in there. So that was a fun little find. The next items are from the Dollar Tree. I really like the Dollar Tree. Of course, they've gone up in price to $1.25 pretty much everywhere now, so that's a little bit trickier. Um, but anyhow, some of these things are not necessarily very Hungry Caterpillar-like, except for maybe this could be the egg. I don't know in the story. But it's this fun little ball. It's got these little nubs on it, and so it's in his favorite color, yellow. My son Reed loves yellow right now. So, I thought this was nice little sensory and he loves balls and he doesn't really have one that's like this. He just has those kind of ones with the holes. I can't think of the name, <laughs> but um, anyhow, I thought he would love this. And then also in the yellow theme, I've got one of these poppets. He also likes stop signs. So I thought this was a nice little stop sign shape. Again, from the Dollar Tree. He's never done this before, and I know some of you are like, this is just junk, probably so. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun in the car or for like a little, you know, waiting room activity or something, and kind of just to work on his little motor skills. So I got him one of those. And now my husband has distracted me. I also got these little Play-Dohs that are not really Play-Doh brand, but they are just like little dough that you play with. So there, <laughs> I got them and it was a great deal. It was like six maybe, or maybe eight for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And they all have little cookie cutter shapes on the lid. And so I thought these were nice little bright Eric Carl colors. I haven't given them all to him. I'm just gonna start them out with three and use the other ones for like potty using incentives and that kind of thing. We haven't really given our son candy, like candy candy <laughs> yet. So I don't really wanna start that now. Um, and also he's going to the Easter egg hunt at our church, which I'm sure we'll have tons of candy. I don't know if we're gonna give him any of that just yet. He's had like sugar, um, as far as like ice cream and cookies and cake on occasion, but not like straight up candy, I guess you would say. So in his Easter basket, I just have three food items and two of them are pouches. We don't really give him pouches much. He's only had pouches maybe once and that was only because somebody that was shopping my Walmart pickup order picked up the wrong item and, and gave us pouches. And so that's pretty much the only time he liked he had pouches and he liked them, so this will be a nice little treat for him to try these. This is from Plum Organics. Peach banana and apricot I've got to try, and then pear, purple carrot, and blueberry. I thought that would be fun little springtime foods for him to try in those little pouches. And then I got him one of these Little Bites uh, mini muffins in the banana flavor. And so, that's all the food items that I put in his basket. But I want you to know that you don't have to keep up with the Joneses. You don't have to break the bank or overspend or buy all these things that are just gonna lie around and collect dust. Um, you don't have to do any of it. You can, you can totally scale back and totally have um, special things for your child. 
and special memories made. And so I think that this basket has turned out so cute. I'm very happy with it. And I think my son will be as well. And like I said, I'm a Christian mama, so this is all about Jesus, and this is just extra fluff. Um, but Easter is about Jesus, and I want to instill that in my child. I'm already thinking about next year maybe doing like a themed basket around the actual Easter story of Jesus' death and resurrection. I think he would be at the age then um, to kind of appreciate it and grasp it a little bit more. So I'm already thinking about that. <laughs> and um, so, yeah. <laughs> Is it time for a take four? I keep just babbling on. I appreciate it if you've watched to the end. Let me know what you're putting in your child's basket. If you're going all out and that's totally okay if you're able to do that or if you're trying to scale back. How you're doing, what you're doing, I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching. Bye.